in this video training session of alias automotive our learning objectives are to understand about the revolved surface and extrude surfaces skin surfaces planar surfaces how to do different modifying operations like cut copy paste how to undo and redo different executed commands how to edit key points and curves how to create construction objects how to set construction planes how to preset the grids how to control the visibility of objects in alias automotive primarily if you are interested to do revolve operation you need to create your sketch so i am aligning this with the screen's orthogonal view that is left and you can see the navigation control that is the reference for x y and z i am interested to revolve this with respect to the z direction so i'll be selecting the curve which i am interested to consider so from this panel palette i'll be going to the revolve which you can find under the surface i'll go to revolve and when you create the revolve by default it consider the axis so if you double click this you can switch to the global direction and whatever the directions you consider that is the z i am interested to consider that i can consider here so you can consider your local axis or global axis with respect to your x y and z and you can define here as well the sweep angle whatever you are interested to define and number of segment degree and span which is very very important if you define increase number of segments then the revolve profile which we are seeing here will be more smoothened and in fact if you go for 24 you can see directly you can control the controlling points with the more visibility and more clarity and you can increase the span let us say to 5 which increases the in between the division to the subdivisions and which increases the quality and also this degrees you can increase when you increase this particular degrees your smoothness of the curve will be more towards the accuracy so you can increase play around the segments degrees and spans in order to best define your surface i'm going to next and i'm finishing it so i can exit it so you can visualize this with the shaded colors you can have different presets textures which you can apply here and you can visualize this and you can go to shift alt and you can go to the fit the views and you can have your previous views and the control here and if you want to rotate your views you can go for the shift alt and your left button and you can directly see here the quality of the object you can zoom it through your right button and you can display the qualities and if you want to edit you can select the particular curve by directly going to the object and you can pick the objects and when you pick the objects you can directly get all the controlling parameters of that particular curves you can change the degrees if you want to increase the degrees or the span you can directly control by increasing or decreasing the numbers so in the same way i will show you with other examples the same example you can see you can increase the degrees if you select it you can increase the span and degrees as well if you see this particular model here you have the revolve parameters the degrees in two different directions different so if you increase the degrees into the different directions that directly controls and activates the models and you can control the independent directions degrees to the higher note for example i am defining this so you can smoothen your object in the independent directions and you can accept whatever the editing you do 
directly by scrolling or directly by typing the keyboard entries. So primarily if you see the latitude and longitudinal directions, the degree of freedoms and span is the control points which you have, that fundamentally controls the accuracy of your object. So if you are interested to increase the accuracy or the quality of the surface or the output, then fundamentally you have to define the degrees and span in each directions independently, so that you can have the best surface output. And if you see different other models where you can have the better understanding about the controlling of the points which I have shown, if you see here the independent controls in this particular direction and in this direction, let us say I will just switch off it, any particular module you can move and you can zoom it also, the local areas you can zoom, shift alt and you can have your movement and zoom and which you can see from the different viewports. Let us say this is the particular model where you need to change the orders then directly after selections you can play around the parameters. And if this is your particular curve where you are interested to work, you can go to the object and you can select your object and after that you can perform the operations which you are looking for. Like the standard primitives if you see before going to extrude, I will show you if you have this particular yellow highlights and if you right click here, you will get all the sub options within that. And if directly you select your any particular object and you select your viewport, that object will be created here and independent this direction control you can have, you can increase along this direction or maybe along this direction or maybe in any direction and you can even rotate it with independent handles and you can move this with this particular handle. So independent command subcategory can directly be shown through your right click and you can get the required options within that. Then when we talk about the revolve and its corresponding parameters that directly you can get from this option when you double click this and when you see this particular option here you have segment, degrees and span which are the primary fundamental controls or you can even increase the degrees or decrease the segments by running this particular option from 0 to 16 and here also you have degrees from 0 to 7 and span also with a maximum values of 15. So you can control within this set values to give the required parameters and set the values which were interested and you can have the auto updates and automatically when you do the changes that will get updated to your model. And in our coming sessions we will discuss about the advanced surfacing commands, the schemes, rails, extrude etc. Thank you.